Hello, my name is Sherry Harris and this is my oral case study over Heidi Rosen. Before I start, I just want to give you a little bit of background about Rosen herself. She grew up in Silicon Valley. After graduating high school, she went on to Stanford to st study creative writing. At Stanford, Rosen lost her fiance. And this, at this point, this is where you really get to see her as a selfless giver because she was so focused on her fiance and his needs that she lost sight of pursuing her own interests and goals. After this devastating loss, Rosen made some life-changing decisions that led her to finish Sanford two semesters early. Following her interest in learning about technology, she uses a contact she has at Tandem to start editing the company's newsletters. Now let's get started on the case study questions. What are the strengths of Rosen's network across the different stages of her career? And discuss concepts from reading that apply to Rosen and how those concepts influence power, influence, and network success. At Tandem, she uses her network skills to land the job. She has a friend that has the hiring woman's phone number. She makes the phone call. She gets the job that could, because they hit it off. Now, some people might see this as her being a taker. I, however, don't. I see this as her using the three unique advantages to networks. Access to different information, access to diverse skill sets, and power. Being the editor at Tandem led her to be able to sit in monthly management meetings, which allowed her to make more connections, building up her network even more, and even meeting the CEO, who later wrote a letter of recommendation for graduate school. After graduate school, she went on to work for her brother at Team Makers, a spreadsheet software programming company. While not wanting to go into debt and only use the capital to be within the retail channel, Rosen started to go out and build relationships with members of the press so that they would ultimately review the products and publish them in their publications. While building the relationships with the press, she also started to join other groups that were technology oriented, one of those being SBA, which she ultimately became the president of. This allowed her to give her time, feedback, and build more network. During the next couple of years, team makers began to publish software programs for companies such as Apple, and PC. Rosen and her colleague decided to buy out her brother's part of the company whenever he became uncomfortable with how the company was heading. Rosen and her colleague ended up selling to Dulex, Dulex Corporation in 1994. Rosen stayed as CEO for the next two years, however. Rosen started working for Apple as Vice President of Worldwide Developer, Developer Relations in 1996. This position only lasted a year, however. But in this year, Rosen was able to use her network to repair a bitter re relationship with CEO of Apple and her dear friend Bill Gates, CEO of Microsoft, along with relationships of 12,000 external software developers. During this time, Rosen extended herself as a selfless giver and ultimately became burnt out and left the company because she was discouraged due to technical polit and political issues with Apple. This led her into a mentor capitalist position in which she helped companies in their early stage. In this position, Rosen was able to be a giver to the, in the things she enjoyed. She got to use her network to help friends find new careers, and that was probably one of her greatest assets. A friend of hers actually once said, while other people use networks to build businesses, Heidi's business is networking. Through Rosen, though Rosen, sorry, enjoyed her position, she liked financial weight that startup companies needed. She missed teamwork, and she wasn't getting enough exposure to inter the internet ex the internet sector, her interests lie. This led her to join SoftBank Venture Capital. Over her career at SoftBank Venture Capital, she served on many boards, still mentoring a management team. 
Rosen would spend her day looking at new investments and working with companies already within SoftBank's portfolio. During this time, you really get to see Rosen as a giver. She provided feedback to everyone that applied for investments, um, even the ones she rejected, um, because you never know where people will end up in the future. She also opened her house to many people during this time um, and parties while SoftBank's new office was under, still under construction, taking even more responsibility within the company. Throughout her career, you can see that she's a giver and at times a selfless giver. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> her ability to build a network is impeccable to say the least. I believe her power of persuasion helped build the network so well. People liked her. She was outgoing. She had a sense of hypocrisy around her. She was kind and honest to people around her. She was very consistent in everything she did. All of these things, her power of persuasion, led her to have authority over others, which led to her success and their success. Heidi Rosen is an admirable woman to look up to. This is my oral case study. I hope you enjoyed it.